1965 Laurel Lindale, 1965 Laurel Lind, with an open line screaming. Female in the background screaming, my baby. Female here at the station shooting her and her family. There's a male across the street with a firearm. He's actually shooting us today. Fire, shot, fire, shot, fire. Hey, here's the down. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. This weekend, I did go out and visit the Dorman Boys Memorial site. So we recorded a little bit of the drive. We are starting at this gas station, which is approximately 10 minutes from their home. I wanted to show people who aren't familiar with this area just how rural it is and that it's not the suburbs by any means. So it's pretty far out there. So like I said, coming from this direction, that gas station is probably one of the closest gas stations to their house and that is about 10 minutes away so you can imagine in an emergency situation like what happened the time feels like forever when you're waiting for law enforcement to arrive now i did put some text on screen so that you would know which roads were passing and when we're going to come up on the actual house so if you'd like to play this on a faster speed or even skip ahead, you can do that. I just really wanted to show how far apart the houses are and what this area actually looks like. Turn right onto Laurel Lindale Road. So this is their road that we're about to turn on to now. We still have a little ways to go. So I wanted to talk about a few things that I noticed. So first, right off the bat, I noticed that the camper that we saw in the body cam footage is no longer sitting in their driveway. However, the two vehicles that we also saw in that body cam footage are still in the driveway. I did also notice, I'm not sure if there's any footage of this from any of the news clippings, but they have a swimming pool kind of when you turn right past their house, they have a swimming pool sitting next to their home. And that swimming pool is very visibly damaged. So I don't know if that was damaged after the incident, during the incident, but I was going to try to go back through and see if I could find that answer in any of the news um, videos that we saw. So if you saw a news video where they did show that pool, just leave a link to it down in the comments below. If you have a Facebook and you're interested, I did create my own Chad Dorman discussion Facebook group. I noticed that there are a couple, but there are some pretty wild rumors in those groups. So I created my own. I'll leave the link to it down in the description. Just being a local, it's a little bit easier for me to know truth from non-truth. And I did also request all of the documents and whatever information that the Claremont County Sheriff's Office is willing to provide. So I'll make a separate video going over all of that and hopefully it helps dispel some of the rumors that are floating around. One in particular that I've seen and heard is that the mother, whose name is Laura, was at home packing with her sister and that Chad found out, came home from work early, and that's why this whole situation ensued. However, we know from the prosecution that Chad said or admitted that he had been planning this for months and also in all of the police reports that I've gone over so far, there is no mention of anyone else being at the home during this incident other than the stepdaughter, the boys, Laura and Chad. Once we get past this next intersection, it's gonna be Bethel New Richmond Road and Laurel Lindale. We're just a couple miles from the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the footage play the rest of the way.
Destination is on your right, 1965 Laurel Lindale Road. Arrived, 